A grade students are hungry for success. I can tell what grade a student will achieve from watching the first hour of their morning routine. It's a bold statement, I know, but I see it all the time. The A grade student wakes up early, gets out of bed, starts their day with purpose and intention. They respect their own time. They know their time is valuable. They know the number of hours in their day is running out. Within one hour of waking up, they're leaving the house and on their way to study. They don't waste time. They have goals to reach, dreams to fulfill. They know they are going to make an impact on a huge scale. And there are countless people relying on them to achieve great things. And then there's the D-grade student. They wake up at around 9 or 10 a.m. And the first thing they do is check their Instagram feed for 30 minutes. There's no rush, no sense of urgency. They have dreams to pursue, but their dreams can come later. Lying in bed for another hour is more important. They eventually get out of bed, shower, brush their teeth. They might watch TV for 30 minutes, and finally they'll leave the house and go on their way to study. The difference between an A-grade student and a D-grade student is that the A-grade student is hungry for success. They're hungry to achieve phenomenal grades. They're hungry to achieve their dreams. They're hungry to make something out of their lives. Success is an absolute priority for them, with no compromises. From the minute they wake up in the morning to the minute they lay their head on their pillow at night, every action in between is to get them one step closer to achieving their goals. So, what is it that makes an A-grade student so hungry for success? How do they get that fire burning inside them so strongly that they don't even entertain the idea of procrastinating? The secret is that they have a powerful why. Their why is what intrinsically motivates them and helps them to study. It pushes them forward. It doesn't allow them to stop. It pushes them to just keep achieving and achieving. Everyone has their own why. Everyone has that spark within them that, once lit, burns an uncontrollable fire within that can motivate and inspire in a way that nothing else can. For me, my why started at school. As soon as I woke up in the morning, I would be depressed. I'd have a deep, empty feeling in my stomach because I knew I had to go to school, but I absolutely did not want to go. This feeling was linked directly to my academic performance. I didn't enjoy high school. In fact, I hated it. I was stuck in a trap of failing my exams so it would damage my confidence. So I believed within myself that I just wasn't clever enough to achieve good grades. Therefore, I didn't study much and I would fail my exams again as a result. It was a vicious cycle that I was stuck in for years. I graduated high school with a D grade and was consequently rejected from university. They didn't want me. They didn't want someone that was a below average student. I was disappointed with myself. I felt rejected. I felt worthless. At that moment, I made a decision. I am worth more than that. I'm worth more than the D grade that I achieved at high school. So, I researched for years how to become an A grade student. I learned every study technique I could find, every memorization method. I studied the most successful people on the planet. I learned about daily habits and productivity tools. I learned how to become the top 1%. After three years, I was finally accepted into university. I put what I had learned to the test. I adopted a growth mindset. I practiced gratitude. I set daily goals. I ate healthily. I exercised regularly. I removed the self-limiting mindset that I wasn't clever enough to achieve incredible grades. And do you know what happened? I started getting A's for the first time in my life. Exam after exam, 
essay after essay, I kept performing in the top 5% of my class. I was no longer swimming against the tide. I was no longer depressed about going to school in the morning. I actually started to enjoy it. In fact, I loved it. University was an incredible time in my life. A stark contrast from the dark, depressing years of high school. I made that transformation from a D grade student to an A grade student. The journey took me to the deepest, darkest times of my life, but I managed to use that failure and flip it around into success. Did it take huge amounts of hard work and self-discipline? Yes, but was it worth it? Absolutely. I had so much motivation and inspiration during university. I was overflowing with it. That's when I created this YouTube channel to help pull as many people out of that trap that I was in as I could. I knew how bad school and university could get, and I didn't want anyone else to go through the pain that I did. That was my purpose. That was what drove me to keep making videos, to keep making motivational videos. Even when, at the beginning, no one was watching my videos. Every week I'd upload a video and I'd get 20 views, maybe 50 views on a good video. But I just kept making videos and uploading because my why was pushing me forward. Eventually my channel started experiencing exponential growth. I was finally having an impact on a huge scale that I was striving to reach for so long, and my why got me through the hard times. If I didn't have a strong enough purpose, then I would have given up months before my YouTube channel saw any kind of growth. Everyone is different. We've all experienced huge pain and hardships in our lives. It's those exact hardships, that suffering and those failures that you experienced you need to flip those around and use them as motivation. Turn them into a burning desire to not suffer the same failures you have been going through. It's this intrinsic purpose that A grade students have that D grade students don't have. It's what drives them to keep growing and becoming a better person as each day goes by because they have experienced failure, which everyone has, but they choose to do something about it. They choose to not let those failures get in the way of their success. In fact, they choose to use their failure as fuel for their fire. Whereas average students don't do this. They get beaten and thrown around by life, but they don't learn. They don't do anything to change their situation. They keep making the same mistakes, so, they keep getting beaten. They keep getting frustrated and disheartened because they don't seem to be getting anywhere. So now it's your turn to step up. Whatever grades you're getting now, there is a next level that you haven't reached yet. You just need to dig deep within you and find your why. Find that burning desire that you have deep inside you that will motivate you and inspire you every day. Because external motivation is just not enough. Just striving to achieve good grades is not enough. Working towards getting a good job after you graduate or aiming to obtain a scholarship is not enough. It's not intrinsic enough. Your purpose will be your fuel for the next 10 years. The more personal your why is, the more powerful it will be. Your why comes from your pain. The most incredibly painful thing that happened to you in your life. That is your why. The thing you're scared to tell anyone about. That is your why. The thing that caused the darkest and biggest scars. That is your why. And when you experienced it and came out of the other side, or maybe you're still experiencing that pain, you can help other people to never have to experience that same pain. Because your pain is a gift that you can take advantage of and use it to help the lives of potentially millions of people. Because when you have a powerful why, it's like a superpower. If your purpose is strong enough and someone tells you that you can't do something, when someone doesn't believe in you, or looks down on you, or sees you as weak and powerless, you don't care who it is. Your parents, 
your friends, your professors at university, society, it doesn't matter. When you're told you can't, then it just pours fuel in your fire, and you do what it takes to prove them wrong. When they try to drag you down, you bounce back twice as strong, with more focus, more discipline, more determination than ever before. And it's the most successful students, the ones with the most powerful and personal why, that are able to do this. It's these students that can stay laser-focused, and any negativity thrown at them is used to fuel the obsession, to become stronger and stronger. For me, the studying that I once struggled with has become an obsession that I love. I looked forward to it every morning. I loved learning about the world around me. I loved the satisfaction at the end of the day. After studying for 12 hours, I loved the sense of accomplishment. I loved the feeling of my grades increasing from D to C to B to A. What I used to find difficult, the studying and the focus and the concentration, I have the pain I experienced and the failures in my life to thank for that. Because if I didn't overcome those hardships, I would not be in the position I am today. So, now it's your turn. Use your hardships, use your pain, and use them as fuel to turn your life around. You have it within you. You just have to find it. If you liked this video on finding your purpose, you can click on the video on the screen where I explain the pain that I experienced that helped me transform my D grades into A grades. I also go through the real reason why I started this YouTube channel four years ago, and I'll see you over there.